Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make some custom maps in Scrap Mechanic. Now, it takes a bit of effort, so the easiest thing is to just wait for the devs to release the, uh, the custom map tool. But if you're impatient and you want to write a couple of lines of code, you can set tiles wherever you want them to be yourself. And that allows you to do things like setting your tiles right up to the fence. And you can do things like putting the large tiles in the very center of the world things like put all your farmlands in the same place or you could put all of these water silo things around the same area if you want to keep things that are similar all grouped together. You could make a world that's mostly flat and just has the things that you would like. For example this map that I made as a sort of race course where I just tried to plan out the tile pieces in a way that if you were driving around you'd be able to kind of follow the flow of the map tiles from one to the next. What's nice with that is when you're not racing around on the big land tiles, it gives you a really great build space to just run around out here where it's nice and flat. Or you can make a world that is a flat world, and not only is the center area green, but you still have your fences. So if you're tired of uh, flying around in a flat world and not knowing where the invisible wall is going to be, now you can have a flat world with fences, and the green color that it has is also kind of nice. So first I'll explain how the tiles are laid out in this game. It's basically just a X and Y grid here, and I made some example of all the coordinates on the map. So the green area would be the, where the main tiles normally show up, and this brown is the desert fade, and the red represents the fence. So I made this to basically give myself a way to lay out tiles and figure out where their coordinates would be. The way that it works, the lower left corner of every size tile is where you reference it. So this large tile, if I wanted it there, it would be at 0, 0. A small tile over here at 4, negative 4. If I wanted a 2x2 two two right there, it would be at negative 5, negative 5. And if I had a 4x4 four four tile that I wanted right where this one is, uh, negative 6, 2 is how I'd reference that tile. And so I went through and actually made screenshots of all of the tiles while flying over them and then scaled them correctly so I could plan out an entire map the way I want. Uh, the game will actually let you overlap tiles, but it ends up kind of a mess. I wouldn't recommend doing that. So just when you plan out where you want to put things, you have to account for the size of the tile and what that would overlap. But then it's really just going through and figuring out your coordinates. So this tile I would have at negative 8, 0. This tile at 0, negative 6. So here's an example of a world that I fully planned out and then went through and found all the coordinates for every tile that I want to use. And it's a bit of work, ends up looking like this, and I'll explain this next. But I'm going through and I'm setting the position of every single tile that I've laid out. And really the easiest way to do this is wait for the developers to release a map making tool so you don't have to try and plot out where you want to put things. But if you're impatient and you feel like um, doing it this way, I'll I'll upload this Photoshop file. Uh, you can basically, I've just got different layers where you can just turn them on and off and then slide each layer around where you want to put it. And then once you've got your tiles where you want them, just go to the lower left corner of each tile, make a note of where that is. And I'll also put up a, um, a version of this file, which I'll explain in a moment. And you're just going to end up going through and setting the location of all your tiles. So where this file is found, if you go to your data, scripts, game, terrain, you'll find a file terrain creative cell data Lua. And this is the tile, or sorry, this is the file where you're going to set the tiles. So in this one that I've already modded, there's a function generate world. And this is where it has a, before the closing end of the function, I've stuck in some extra bit of code, and what I've got here is this first bit is setting a tile number zero to all of the positions between the fences. So the range of negative 11 through 10 covers everything from fence to fence. If you still want to have the desert fade, you would actually use um, negative 7 through 8. So if you want to have them sort of where they normally would be, 
all you'd have to do is change these to negative 7 and 8 and it will leave that desert fade out on the side. But I like putting my tiles all the way out to the edges, so I'm using negative 11 through 10. And actually I can show here, see negative 11 is this side and 10 is this side, and the same with up and down. And then normally negative 8 through 7 is where your main tiles would be. You could generate, let it generate the world and then just put things where you want them afterwards. But I like the idea of kind of just wait, like wiping the whole world clean and then starting from scratch. So basically, without any of this stuff down here, just this right here would give you a flat world that still has fences. Um, but then if you want to set tiles, there's a set tile function in this um, somewhere down in here. Well, you'll find it if you go looking for it. And I'm just using the set tile with my own values to then go and place things where I want them. So the first number is your x coordinate, the second number is your y coordinate, the third number is the size of the tile, and the fourth one is the ID of the tile. To get the numbers for those, if you go into the tile list Lua and scroll down to the bottom, it lists all the tiles in the game, and this will tell you the tile size and the tile ID. So that gives you two of the pieces of information you need. For example, this is a size 4 tile, a size 8 tile, and the ID number. And those in here, that's your two values right there. What I ended up doing to keep track of things is I named layers in Photoshop with the tile size and number. So for example, I know this tile that I've got here and I can drag around. If I look at it in my layer, it's a size 1 tile with the ID of 30, and I just gave them some descriptions. So I'm going to just put two tiles on this map. I'm going to take, let's say, the I'm going to take the large dirt pit, and let's say I want to put this, um, like, just put it dead center on the map. And then also, I'm going to go and take the launch pad, and let me stick the launch pad all the way up in the corner, right up to the fence. Well, it doesn't really matter how, I, how accurate I position it here, because this is just for kind of planning things out. So what I'll do is go to the Creative Cell Data Lua, and now I'm going to, I'll start with the, uh, this upper tile here. And to check this one, so the launch pad is ID number 49. And so if I go, and so if I go to the ID and put in 49, it's a size one tile. And the X and Y are 10, 10. So I just put in 10 and 10, and that'll set that tile up there. And then I'll add a, another line. And for this one, the tile, let's see, this is tile number 69. So I'll just change that to 69. And this one is a size 8 tile. And the location I have it at is negative 4, negative 4, because it's the lower left corner. So if I change that to negative 4, and this one to negative 4, and then I save this file. Now when I launch Scrap Mechanic, so this world that I'm creating should be exactly what I made. So starting here, right in the center of the map, I'm here on this tile. Looks good so far. I'll just get something that I can fly around in. Load up my jetpack. And as you can see, it's a flat world with this tile in the center, and the launch pad should be up in the upper corner. Yep, and there it is. So that's basically how you do it. Um, to fill the entire map with all the things you want takes a little while. And again, the easiest way to do it is just wait for the devs to release the update that has map making, but um, if you really are intent on designing your own map, this is one way to do it.